Hello everyone, here in this video I am going to show you that how you can add color swatches and image swatches in your Shopify store. So basically Shopify has already given a default method of adding color swatches and image swatches but the problem is that we have some additional feature into this method which is using custom code. So you can add multiple colors, you can add color swatches, you can add image swatches, you can increase and decrease the sizes, you can uh, add some additional like borders and stuff. So this is not available in the default version. If you still wanted to add using the default method, then I have already created a video. You will be getting the link below in the description. So you can follow that video and you will get to know that how you can do it uh, using uh, the Shopify default method. But this is also quite simple. You just need to copy and paste the code and uh, you don't need to do anything else. This method is applicable for all the free themes which are like down theme, refresh, sans, uh, studio, color block and all. So if you have any other theme then uh, you need to do some additional things. So you can contact me, I will help you out in that. If you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel because I am uploading a lot of uh, new content on this YouTube channel. So you can uh, get the notification first. Alright, so here is the current situation of the store. You can see that uh, right now I have simply uh, color swatches. Right now I have simply the colors without any uh, kind of swatch and uh, we have uh, size variant as well. So let's implement that feature now. So I'm going back to the dashboard of the store and here you can see that I have installed down theme. This is the version 15.1.0. If you have uh, the other versions then still you can try this and if that doesn't work then you can ask me I will help you out in that. Alright, so the first step is you should click on these three dots and then duplicate this theme so that later on if you have any problem or something you can roll it back to its original version. And then after you can actually uh, click on, uh, first of all click on these three dots, click on edit code and here we have some folders and files. So I, uh, I have already given a uh, link below in the description for the blog post which I have written. So you have to go to the dashboard and you should search this file which is settings dash schema underscore schema and then you will be getting this settings underscore schema and you have to copy this complete code and paste it just below uh, this comma I mean line number 10 and then click on save once the changes are saved then you can uh, scroll it down and follow the second step the second step is go to snippets and open product dash variant dash picker dot liquid and here we go once you are searching it, you will be getting product-variant-picker.liquid and inside of this file, you need to find this code snippet and replace this with the this uh, these lines of code. So how you can do that? You need to find this uh, class like pill and stuff. So let me show you. You should scroll it down and here you can see that we have a, uh, code related to swatches and here we have the code related to buttons. So inside of this buttons, we have pill uh, form input pill okay so you need to replace this uh, this block of code with this one so i'm copying it let me remove it and then paste the new code and then click on save once the changes are saved then you can go back to the third step which is you need to create a new snippet which is color dash option so you should copy the name from here go back to add a new snippet uh, paste the name here and then click on done and you will see that we have an empty file of color-option.liquid and you can copy this complete code and paste it right here and then click on save. Once the changes are saved then you can see that we have uh, followed all the steps and now it's time to test the feature. So how we can test it? You should go back to the dashboard and let's click on customize. So you should click on customize and here we have the home page we need to go back to our uh, products so for example this is the product okay so here we go now you can see that we have uh, color swatches but uh, right now we don't see any color here why because we need to add the hex codes for each color for example this is navy this is white peach uh, blue green and yellow so how we can do that you should go to settings and here we have color swatches custom and uh, make sure that this name of the uh, swatch uh, i mean this option name should match with this option name okay if you have something else here then you can update uh, this color with something else okay now we are going to uh, update all these colors 
so for example right now we have this like black and white and uh, for for example I have uh, for example I have blue also so how we can add blue blue and we need to add the hex code for each of them so you can write here hex code uh, blue hex code blue color hex code so this is one way to find out the color for example I am adding this one and once you are adding it you will see that the blue color has been updated here if I am adding yellow and I am picking the color from here for example I am writing yellow you should copy this and paste it right here and it will have the yellow color appearing right here, right hand side okay similarly we have green so you should put green so there is another method of uh, picking the colors so how we can do that let me show you uh, what is that one so let's preview the changes and let me show you another uh, way of picking the colors so for example this is the product and here we have multiple colors for example we have this peach color so how we can pick this color you should right click click on inspect and right hand side you should write color for example red okay and then you can click on this color click on this pencil and pick this color and copy this hex code and paste it right here so for example we have a color name peach and I am adding that uh, hex code here so right now you can see that we have exact same color appearing over here in the same way for example we have this one navy so you can write here color red for example and click on this color click on this color picker and here you need to click and it will appear like this so we can write here navy and write the color so here we go now you can see that we have all those colors which are displaying here and you can save the changes and maybe see the preview right here all right so that's how you can actually add the color swatches in your shopify store for down theme or any other free themes which you are using the second step is that if you are interested to put the uh, variant images so you can click variant image and automatically the images will be loading here so right here you can see that if I am refreshing this page again now you can see that we have all the variant images displaying here all right so how beautiful this is now now the third step is that how we can add multiple colors so for say example I have this product right here and you can see that uh, if I am clicking on color so let me save the changes and if I'm refreshing it back here let me see so we have uh, this color is blue and yellow this color is green and black and this is like black and yellow okay so for blue and yellow how we can add that color okay let me show you so here we are going to add blue and yellow so how we can do that B L U E blue and then you can write yellow and colon and then here you should copy the blue color from here and then yellow color from here and paste it right here and now you will see that we have blue and yellow color in the same way we have another color which is green and black so how we can add it you can add it uh, sorry that is green and black yeah right so you should write here green black and we have this green color here and then we have the black color right here and now you will see that green and black color is appear appearing here so, so that means we have multiple colors now okay so let me save the changes let me see the preview here and here we go now we you can see that we have green black blue yellow black and yellow so we can see that we have multiple colors uh, right here and uh, color swatches as well and we have implemented the image swatches as well so let's test again so firstly you should go back to this product and here we can see that we have 
all the color swatches and if we are going back to another product which is uh, the second one if we are going to this color so here you can see that we have uh, multiple colors and simple colors as well and if we are going back to variant images so you will see that we have all those variant images displaying right here here you can see that we have multiple variant images displaying and if you are going back you will see that for this product as well we have multiple images displaying here uh, let me show you some other features as well so once you are scrolling it down and you will see that we have a swatch style which is square so here you can see that we have square and we can also increase the swatch size so right now you can see like this and if you want you can make it square round corner and you can make it portrait as well so here you can see that full images are displaying and you can reduce the size of the image yeah and uh, yeah that's it so these are the things you can actually update it uh, from these settings all right so that's how you can implement this feature into your store if you have any problem or something you can ask me directly i will help you out in that so feel free to ask me below in the comment section so you can follow me on tiktok facebook and instagram and you can also join a whatsapp group which i have already created and if you have any new feature to develop then you can directly contact me i will definitely help you out in that so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video and make sure that uh, if you have any question or something you can ask me below in the comment section and you can also give me an idea of uh, the future videos like which video you are interested to uh, watch so i will create uh, similar kind of videos so thank you once again see you in the next video 